Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and Apple has just released the fourth beta of iOS 13. Now this comes at quite a big size here on the iPhone 10. It's 464 megabytes. Of course, that will be different on different devices, but expect quite a big update for iOS 13 beta 4. So now let's take a look at what's new on this beta of iOS 13. First of all, let's take a look at a pretty huge security bug that was within the settings on beta 3. So on the passwords and accounts, you could basically bypass Touch ID or Face ID and access the app passwords and website passwords right there. So even without entering Face ID or Touch ID, you would be able just to cancel here and just keep tapping right there and it would eventually get you into that section but it looks like it has been fixed. Now let's take a look at the new features of iOS 13 beta 4. Now we have a new edit button right here on the widget section. That's new right there has been redesigned. On the home screen, we're taking a look right here at the 3D touch menus. This has been completely redesigned, the menu right here, as well as the new button right there. If you tap right there, it will take you to the edit mode. So of course you can rearrange or delete any of your apps. So that's a new addition to the 3D 3D touch menu. And while we're talking for the 3D touch menu, 3D touch seems to be back here on the iPhone 10. It works perfectly like it should, like it used to work on iOS 12. So I don't know what Apple is doing with that. Sometimes it looks better, sometimes it looks worse, but on iOS 13 beta 4, it's looking really good. Looks like they have brought back the full functionality of the 3D touch. Another change on beta 4 is on the settings app. I don't know if you can notice, but you can see the rows here on the settings app. They seem to be a bit wider. So that's a change that I have noticed here on the settings app. It looks a bit cleaner like this. And as you can tell right there, all the rows right here, all this section are a bit wider. On the iMessage app, you will find that the voice message icon right there has also been redesigned. It used to be a little microphone and now it has been changed to these kind of like waves. So a totally redesigned voice message button right there on the iMessage app. So that's it for this video guys. These are just some of the new features and changes of iOS 13 beta 4. Of course, on a follow up video, I will show you even more new features of iOS 13 beta 4. So make sure you subscribe for that. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one.